गुड इवनिंग आई वे वेलकम टू यू ऑल इन सेकेंड एजुकेशन सो आई विल सॉल्व यू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर 5.2 ओके सो ट्राई टू रीड दिस क्वेश्चन व्हाट डज क्वेश्चन इंडिकेट्स अ बॉडी ऑफ अ मास 2 केजी ओके इनिशियली एट अ रेस्ट मूव्स अंडर द एक्शन ऑफ एन अप्लाइड हॉरिजॉन्टल फोर्स ऑफ 7 न्यूटन ऑन अ टेबल सो लेट अस कंसीडर देयर इज अ बॉडी ओके व्हिच इज प्रेजेंट ऑन अ टेबल सो दिस इज अ टेबल ओके एंड दिस इज योर बॉडी दिस इज योर बॉडी राइट नाउ इट हैज मास हाउ मच मास इट हैज it has mass of mass of 2 kg okay so definitely what will be the force due to gravity force due to gravity on this mass will be will, will be 2 into 9.8 so this will be 19.6 newton so what will be the reaction force on this object so reaction force will be r is equal to same that is equal to 9.6 newton as per newton's third law okay now a horizontal force of 7 newton is being applied on this body so let us consider 7 newton is acting in this direction and the force mu uh, coefficient of friction uh, friction is 0.1 so what will be the friction force acting toward back side so if i will talk about friction force so let us consider this is the friction force so how, what is the value of friction force acting in, in this mu into reaction force so this will be 0.1 into reaction force that is equal to uh, 19.6 so this will be 1.96 newton so we have got friction force okay now work done by the applied force in 10 seconds so we need to find the work done so before you want to find that work done you require the distance displacement so displacement in displacement in 10 second displacement in 10 second so before that we have to find the acceleration so how you will find acceleration so how you will find acceleration so acceleration is equal to force net force divided by mass so what is the net force here net force is force uh, applied force minus friction force so applied force is 7 newton friction force is 1.96 newton divided by mass is your 2 kg so what we will get we will get how much 7.00 1.96 so this will be 990 so 5 so this will be 5.04 divided by 2 so this is how much 5.04 divided by 2 how much it will be 5.04 so this will be the no, acceleration will be 2.5 2.52 meter per second is square so we have got an uh, acceleration so if we have got uh, acceleration so we will use which equation equation of motion so by using equation of motion equation of motion we can find displacement in 10 second so time they have given within 10 second how much they uh, we need to find the work done so how you will find the uh, um, displacement so s is equal to ut plus 1 by 2 at square so what is the initial velocity as per question see here at rest initially they were as at rest so initial velocity is your zero so if we have initial velocity is zero into time is your 10 second plus 1 by 2 into acceleration is how much we have got 2.52 into 100 so if we will solve this so how uh, how you will get uh, if you will solve this so if you will solve this so what will be the displacement so finally you will get 1 126 meter so i hope you have understood how to find the displacement now so we have got acceleration we have got displacement our target is to find the displacement in a 10 second 
सो नाउ टेल मी व्हाट क्वेश्चन दे आर आस्किंग इन क्वेश्चन नंबर ए वर्क क्वेश्चन नंबर ए ए इज योर वर्क डन बाय द अप्लाइड फोर्स सो इफ आई विल टॉक अबाउट वर्क डन बाय द अप्लाइड फोर्स सो लेट अस कंसीडर अप्लाइड फोर्स इज योर 7 न्यूटन डिस्प्लेसमेंट इज योर एस इज योर 126 मीटर एंड द एंगल बिटवीन दिस टू इज 0 डिग्री सो वर्क डन बाय द अप्लाइड फोर्स सो वर्क डन बाय द अप्लाइड फोर्स इज हाउ मच वर्क डन बाय द अप्लाइड फोर्स सो वर्क डन बाय द अप्लाइड फोर्स दैट इज 7 न्यूटन फोर्स सो दिस विल बी uh 7 into displacement is 126 into theta is 0 degree so cos 0 degree so this will be uh how much 126 into 7 so we will get 882 into cos 0 is 1 into 1 so this will be what it will be 882 joule so i hope you have understood so this is the solution of question number a now it's turn of question number b that is Question will be work done by the friction force, a uh, friction in ten second. So we need to find the work done due to the friction. So first of all, we have to find friction force is how much. So as we have already done, friction force is how much. This is a uh, um, friction force is one one point nine six newton. Okay. So if friction force is one point nine six new newton, one point nine six newton. Displacement is your one twenty six meter. And theta is the angle is 180 degree. Why 180 degree? Because an object is moving in this direction. So displacement direction is this, but friction is opposing in this direction. So theta, be, um, uh, the angle between these two is 180 degree. So we will use here 180 degree. So work done by the work done by the friction force is equal to friction force into displacement into cos 180 degree. So friction force is 1.96. Uh, Displacement is your 126 into cos 180 degree, so this is your minus minus symbol negative. So this will be how much 126 126 into 126 into 1.96. So um, 126. If we will uh, calculate this, we will get um, uh, minus two. Forty-seven joule, approximately. So I hope you have got the uh, solution of question number B. <coughs> Now question number C. Work done by the net force on the body in ten second. So net force in ten second. So suppose this is a body, and seven newton is acting forward direction. Friction force is one point nine six acting in Backward direction. So, what will be the net force on this object? So, net force will be equal to seven minus one point nine six. So, this is how much? Seven minus one point nine six. So, this will be how much? So, this will be five point zero four. So, we have got net force. We have got net force. Okay. Now. If we have got net force, so work done by net force. Work done by net force. So this will be equal to net force into displacement into cos theta. So what is the direction that is theta? Since object is moving in this direction, net force is also in this direction. So theta will be equal to zero degree. So net force is your five point zero four into displacement. Displacement is how much? Displacement is your one twenty six into cos. Zero. So cos zero is one. So if I will try to multiply this five point zero four into one twenty six, so we will get two. Uh, one twenty six, right? So if I will multiply with one twenty six in five five point zero four, so we will get six thirty five. Approximately how much? Six thirty five joule. Okay. So I hope you have got the result of C. Now let it uh, let let's do uh, part B. Uh, part D. So part D change in kinetic energy of uh, the body in ten second. So what is the change in a uh, kinetic energy? So let us see this. Change in kinetic energy is equal to work done work done by net force 
net force net force this is given by work energy theorem work energy theorem so by work energy theorem so kinetic energy change in kinetic energy can be written as work done by net force so work done by net force is 635 joule so change in kinetic energy is your 635 joule so i hope you have understood now so this is a question number d i hope uh, you all have got the uh, proper concept how to solve this so thank you everyone